I'm Judy Rosenberg from Rosie's Bakery, and I'm going to make my double whammies for you today. And double whammies are America's favorite thing, the chocolate chip cookie, of which I can tell you we sell over 57,000 a year of just that particular cookie. Hands down, it's America's most popular cookie. Um, on top, and, uh, that's going to be our base, and then on top we're going to have a fudgy brownie, another one of my favorites. We're going to bake them together for a perfect dual bar. So we have our butter, which we're going to mix very easily with our, um, we're going to basically make a chocolate chip cookie dough, like you make at home all the time. A little white sugar, a little brown sugar, and we're going to cream that up a bit. Okay. And I'm going to actually add my vanilla, because when you mix the vanilla in, and it kind of rolls around with the sugar and the butter, it really infiltrates the entire mixture. So I'm going to put my vanilla in. I'm going to whip it up just a bit more to get it all creamy. Add my egg. Loosen what's on the beater. Let it go again. No worries about how much you're mixing it. Can't really overmix the cookie batter. Okay. Now I'm going to dump in my flour. And then when it's when the flour is almost all incorporated, we're going to give it another little spin here. A little scrape, I mean. We're going to add our chocolate chips, semi-sweet, but it would be good with dark as well. Although the topping, the brownie topping, is really not very sweet. So, you know, unless you like your chocolate really dark, I would go with the semi-sweet ones to balance it out. Give that a few turns, not too many, because we don't want to break up the chips, and we're all done. We're ready to spread it in the pan. Now, as you can see, what I've done here is instead of just greasing my pan, I have cut a piece of parchment paper that overlaps the sides, and the batter's going to go in there, and after the whole thing is baked, I'm going to loosen these two sides and just pull it right out of the pan. I, I, I'm like finding that parchment paper is the be-all and end-all when it comes to baking. I love it. It also tends to put a tiny little layer between the product and the hot pan, which I think kind of softens the way the heat um, affects the product. So we're going to dump that in here. And then I'm going to use my spatula, which I'm dipping in hot water, just so that I don't have to kind of maul the batter too much to get it spread in the pan. So we have this nice, thick layer of Rosie's chocolate chip cookies. There. And now we're going to make the fudgy chocolate brownie that's going to sit atop this. Okay, now we're ready for our brownie fudge layer. And I put my butter and my unsweetened chocolate in here. Once again, so easy to make. Why does anybody use a mix? Sugar. Give it a few turns. When I was a kid, I did use a mix, I have to admit. But I used to add extra butter and extra sugar, so. No, extra butter and extra chocolate, that's what I added. And it actually it wasn't so bad, but now I know it has all those chemicals in it. Okay, our eggs are going in. And what I love about these brownies is they really aren't too sweet. They're bittersweet, which is how I like my brownies. Okay, we're going to mix this up. We're going to push down the sides and get the bottom scraped. I'm only putting in two tablespoons of flour because it's going to be almost like a gooey, chocolatey top. And if I put in more than that, I'm going to risk the brownie being dry. Okay. 
time and time again, I realize how easy it is to throw together desserts. Let's get it. Yum. Okay. Spread it out. Maybe turn the pan a little bit because it's quite a loose batter. You can just go like that. Get it to spread. And it'll loosen up in the oven. So we're going to put this in the oven at 325 for about 35 minutes until some uh, tester inserted in the center comes out with moist crumb on it. Not slush, but moist crumb. So here's our brownie, which has been out of the oven for about an hour. And I'm going to show you this fantastic method of getting it out of the pan. I'm going to just free the sides that don't have the parchment from the pan. Maybe the corners. And, and there we go. Is that miraculous? Okay. Now, mm. okay, we'll cut a few. By dipping the knife in the hot water, it's helping us to drag it through the brownie without creating a lot of crumbs. It's kind of smooth. Mm, look at this. Is that heaven or is that heaven? Honest to God, could you ask for more? Mm.